Hey, I'm Casey Curry, and today we are going to talk about the Curry 74 Weld Portal Package. The Portal Package is something that I've been working on with the team for quite a long time, actually a little bit over a year. We've done a lot of testing and a lot of driving just to really make sure the package is the ultimate portal package. 74 Weld makes an absolutely stunning portal. Their strength uh, is superior. They've gone over the top on quality. Um, it's just an all around great piece. Some of the key features with the portals, it is a three and three quarter inch lift front and back. So basically if you had no lift at all and you put these portals and these front and rear ends inside your Jeep, you're gonna get three and three quarter inch lift automatically. Now that also means that the pumpkins front and rear are also getting lifted a little bit under four inches of travel without doing anything. So when you drive over that rock, you got a lot more clearance. For the gear ratio, we are actually running a final drive of a 5.0 gear. That's a great gear for a diesel Jeep, but the ring and pinion is a 4.10 and the portal ratio is a 1.22 gear ratio. And these are four gear portals, which give you the ultimate strength. The four gear portal is the same portals that we run in our off-road race trucks with over a thousand horsepower, giving us a really strong gear as well as the right RPMs on the highway and in the dirt. For bolt pattern, it's eight on six and a half, nine sixteen studs. Any wheel that's a six and a half inch backspace wheel would be the ultimate wheel for this package. Making it all tucked in nicely gives it a great feel on the road as well in the rocks. As far as all the brackets on the housing, it's all stock location stuff. Because there's no lift, we basically taken all the brackets and the caster and basically set it back to stock because right now we are actually running Synergy one inch springs in the front. Uh, the springs basically with the added bumper and the winch is stock ride height. So everything we've done is really kept it at stock. So this front axle with these portals has been an amazing feature as far as the amount we drive in the rocks and on the highway. With the portals and the geometry of the steering, uh, it's actually really nice because you can run the the stock style tie rod and drag link. So with that, you're not having to have something custom made. Right now I'm actually just running the Rock Chalk tie rod and drag link. Everything bolts right up and it makes it super easy to use. With the Curry 44 front end, this is our JK casting. It runs JK Dana 44 gear. As far as the locker, we have been testing with Eaton, the new 35 spline 44 locker. Uh, we got many, many miles on it now. Uh, I'm very happy with it, which is very cool because now with the 35 spline locker, uh, we're able to run a 35 spline 300 m axle shaft with our new two piece 4340 yoke. So our new yoke design allows for outside ribbing rather than the rib in the middle uh, so that we can maximize steering. So a lot of the axles out there, which is a standard axle, is the limitation to how much steer you can get with our new axle design, we basically maximized all the steering. Uh, with that, we're running our new stub axle as well. It's a 35 spline stub axle with the 1480 yoke. It's basically one ton axle strength on a 44 front end. So I'm very pleased with all that. The axle tube, it's a three inch axle tube with half inch wall tubing. It's very, very heavy duty. And for the actual inner seats, it's actually the newer Super Duty Dana 60 inner seas. The reason we did this is we need to get the larger spread so that we can get the portal and the axle all put in there at one time. With the bigger uh, ball joint on the bottom, and it's actually a uniball with a pin on the top, it's the only way that we can get everything put up in there and pinned without having to take the axles completely apart. So it makes it really, really nice. For the dry shaft, it still uses a companion flange, so you can use a stock or any aftermarket front dry shaft that uses a companion flange. For the rear end, we have our Curry 60 casting with the 410 ratio and a 35 spline Eaton locker. This allowing us to have a 35 spline axle shaft all the way out to the portal. We did modify the bracket on our JT to have the stock track bar location, as well as we've made sure that all the brackets are in the stock location and not designed for lift. In the rear of this Jeep, we do have stock springs. So everything as far as geometry goes is stock. Once again, with the portals in the back at the 1.22 ratio, we have a 5 gear ratio, giving everything that superior strength. Uh, with this, we have a 1350 yoke on the dry shaft. So any aftermarket dry shaft with a 1350 yoke will bolt right on. 
Everything on this is a complete bolt-in package, making it superior to anything else on the market with portals and really making it an all-around great build. For locker choices and gear choices, we have everything from 410 to 538. We also have air locker and electric locker and a true track option for the front if that's what you want. So we do have all these options available. We can have these for the JK, JL, and the JT Jeep models. Give us a call, write us an email, or leave a comment below and we'll get you taken care of. If you like this video, subscribe here. For more Curry Tech videos, click right here. And for other Curry content, click right here. Thanks for watching, guys.